Adding a wireless access point or wireless hub to a wired Ethernet. The easiest way to create a wireless network is to add a wireless access point or wireless hub to an existing wired Ethernet LAN. Wired LANs with Internet access are all around us. You may have one in your home or small office. Most modern hotel rooms also have one. For example, here's a picture of an Ethernet jack built into the base of a lamp in a hotel room. Like most such LANs, this one has Internet access and supports the well-known Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol, or DHCP. Here, I have a wireless access point, which I'm going to connect with the LAN. Once it is properly connected, it will allow laptop or other computers equipped with a compatible wireless network interface to use it exactly as if it were an old-fashioned Ethernet hub, except, of course, with no need for the usual Ethernet cables. In their most basic operational modes, without encryption, wireless access points operate almost exactly like old-fashioned Ethernet hubs. You can learn a lot more about Ethernet hubs by watching the AskMrWizard.com movie entitled Ethernet Hubs from our Ethernet series. You can also learn all about DHCP from our Internet series movie entitled Configuring Your Internet Connection Part 1, the Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol. If you are not familiar with Ethernet hubs and DHCP, you should watch those movies before proceeding here, because this movie builds on those concepts. For today's exercise, I have chosen D-Link's DWL-G730AP wireless travel router, with its mode switch set to the access point position. It has connectors for an Ethernet cable and for electrical power along the top edge, as seen here. I'm going to connect it with the hotel's Ethernet LAN through this Ethernet cable. I plug one end into the hotel's network and the other end into the access point. Then, I must also connect electrical power using this small wallwort power supply module. One end, of course, plugs into a standard electrical outlet and the other end snaps into the tiny little power connector on the access point. As soon as electrical power is connected, the indicator lights illuminate, flashing in patterns to inform us of LAN and WAN activity. Congratulations! We've just enhanced a wired Ethernet for wireless access, and we've created a public wireless network. That is really all we need to do to set up the required hardware. Now, any laptop or other computer that's equipped with an industry standard wireless network interface can connect with this wireless access point and can then access every service that's available from the wired LAN. If you already, kn already know how to access wireless networks, you are now ready to free yourself from those restricting Ethernet cables. Note, because we haven't turned on any encryption, anybody that's nearby can access this network. You can learn how to use encryption to convert this into a private network by watching, our uh, by watching other movies here at AskMrWizard.com. If you are not familiar with the process by which your computer finds and connects with access points through a wireless interface, you can see a fine example based on a Windows XP laptop accessing a public wireless network at a McDonald's restaurant by watching the AskMrWizard.com movie entitled Muck Wireless, Wireless Networking at McDonald's. This movie was originally made back in 2007, and a lot has changed since this 2012 remake. For example, it is now commonplace to get all of the Wi-Fi and router and broadband modem equipment packaged together in a single box known as a wireless residential gateway. With a single box wireless residential gateway solution, it's even easier than ever nowadays, and you can learn all about this by exploring our AskMrWizard.com wireless networking section. Pay particular attention to the feature entitled Setting Up a Wi-Fi LAN the Easy Way. We appreciate our many YouTube viewers. However, if you are trying to find our videos only on YouTube, you are missing out on a lot of our very best content. We have thousands of informative video clips like this one, and it can be difficult to find the others in proper sequence. On our site, 
These clips are also accompanied by related links, related text, still images, audio recordings, question and answer forums, and advertisements from carefully selected vendors that understand these issues and want to help with their products. Please join us there. We appreciate your support. From YouTube, it's easy to find our site. Just click on the prominent link at the beginning of YouTube's descriptive text. Thank you.